Good morning. This is trip to the thrift numero 57. Monday morning. Let's go. Telling y'all, I'm building Lil A's collection. Some Jordan 5's Fire Reds. For sure gonna pick these up. My little man gonna be flat. I'm actually gonna pass on these because they look a little weird. You can see the toe box just looks extra like big. And then this one doesn't look as big. These might be fake. Look how fat that looks. I have to pass on these. Just found these size large, very simple, but very dope. Champion pair of uh, track pants with the zippers at the bottom. Size large, made in USA. Probably gonna scoop these. And we popping in the Goodwill. Me and the boo boo. Let's go. We got these vintage guest sneakers for ladies. Good morning. It is the next day. Just look at this car though. See that? It says vibe right there. Hopefully that brings some good luck. Let's get in. I just found this Lululemon for women. Size 6. Polo jeans tee right here. Polo jeans company. I mean this hair Jordan tee. New age though. And this is why I love thrifting. You never know what you're gonna find. Louis Vuitton tie. Oh my god, this is fire. Just found these little kids, flame strap bands, and then a pair of little kids Jordan ones right here in the all white with the patent leather. They got this Carhartt jacket, but it actually doesn't have like a size tag. It looks like a double XO. Maybe an XO. It's kind of big, but they're taxing a little bit, so probably gonna pass. They got these Nike TNs right here. Did someone tried to like color on the Nike sign with a sharpie. You can see it right there. Weird. These are from 2010 though. Size 12. I just don't know if I'll be able to take that out. They're only asking for $8. I might still end up scooping. Dang, I really thought this was about to be a Kuji sweater. Via Europa? I got this Polo Jeans Company long sleeve only on the chest and then they have this Sherpa jean jacket but this is a newer age one not a vintage one but it is a Levi Sherpa asking for 20 I might scoop this one out man I'm really tempted to get this the Tommy Hilfiger suitcase like carry on luggage they're asking for $20 it's actually kind of tight Vintage 1996 Tasmanian Devil Dodgers T. Very clean. Size medium. This is pretty tight. Found the size medium Tommy jacket. Tommy jeans embroidered on the chest. Tommy patch. Tommy patch right here. Pretty clean jacket. It is a quarter zip. And then in the back, no embroidery. Just plain gray and red. Scooping this for show. Wow. The inner tag said 1999, but it, these, but the thing is, these are actually fake. But just crazy to see. Imagine if they're real though. Jeez. Dang, I'm hella sad about this one. It has just way too many like flaws. It has a lot of rips and stuff. Like I would cop this even though it is bootleg. But then the rips are just like way too bad. Ugh. Dang, this is so hard to pass up on. I got this corduroy Levi's Sherpa. New age stuff. With Sean Witherspoon's Air Maxes? That'd be fire. Size 8.5, 2003. Nike Cortez's. Probably gonna scoop these up. They're only asking for $6. Scoop! Vintage Los Angeles. California tea. Single stitch. This is fire. See right there, made in USA, size XL, but I'd say this is like a large. Scooping. Good morning, y'all. Damn, I'm looking extra tired right now. I'm gonna throw the hood on. It's a little sunny right now, but it's cool. Just got to the thrift. Another day. We in the glasses, though. Getting tired of wearing contacts. Eyes are getting tired. It's cold. It is the next day, and I found another one. I don't know why the tabs are like white. Seems like they're actually gonna like break. 
Ah, I had to pass, but I did find this one right here. North Face backpack. Probably gonna pick this up. They're asking for 15, so that's not too bad. Well, I'm really gonna have to pass on this North Face backpack because it has a lock on it. Ah. Just found this guest crew neck. Guest jeans, super comfy, size medium for men. For sure picking this up, they're asking for eight. This is such a weird, like, full suit. It's like a pajama material. Size medium, it's an Asian brand called Mr. Junko. It's a full suit. Kinda like it, just cause it's extra random. Might cop this, we'll see. Just found the size medium Polaroid four and corduroy piece. This is pretty clean. It's got the monotone horse right there. Very simple. This is a very clean piece. Yeah, man, it's dark. Oh no. Yeah, what's good, guys? I just got to. Obviously, I got the shirt on. So I just got to um, my barber school event. Today is a very, very cool event. Um, we're cutting up veterans. Um, shout out to the veterans. Thank you for all your service. Um, but yeah, we're going to be cutting hair for free for veterans. We're here at the VA. Not sure exactly what that stands for, but I'm guessing it's like veterans something. But we're going to be cutting here for like four and a half hours. Um, just doing a good deed. And that's why I enjoy this school because we get to do extra events like these and like they're really, really cool, and it feels like genuine. Like, they really just want to give back and, like, give free haircuts. So, this is going to be a cool event. I'm not actually sure if I'm able to film in there, but I will bring my camera. And then I'll see if I can film. If not, I will see you guys after, and I will take you guys thrifting once again. Woke up at 6 this morning. Let's go. Maga. I just drove in traffic for two hours. Once again, I was not able to film during the haircuts. They just didn't allow photos, but super cool. Whole bunch of veterans, just super thankful for their service. And yeah, very, very good deed. And it feels good to give back. You know, I had to hit the thrift though. We got the energy back. So. Just found a North Face backpack right here in the green and black and this is a new age Tommy Hilfiger duffel it's still pretty fire I might have to scoop this one up they're only asking for 8 for this one this one they're asking for 15 alright guys it is the next day and I just wanted to show you guys the items that I picked up right here we have a vintage champion pair of track pants super fire I cannot wait to wear these are actually my size vintage 90 single stitch Los Angeles T Los Angeles California right under here with the plaid already been sold this one has actually been sold as well it's a vintage guest crew neck all embroidered size medium and then the Cortez is right here size eight and a half from 2003 yo what's good guys so I actually just got to the post office right now your boys a little dressed up as you can see because it's the boo boo sisters baby shower but I gotta ship these packages off to make sure they get to y'all by like Monday or Tuesday so let's go I actually forgot to show you guys this, but I just wanted to show you guys that I actually did pick it up. It's the Tommy Hilfiger luggage, the carry-on, the homegirl Jackie actually wanted it from uh, from barber school. She asked me if I could look for some luggages for her to travel. Luckily found this one. This is so fire. But yeah, so luckily found this, hooked up the homegirl, and yeah, very dope luggage. Low-key would have kept it for myself, but this is fire. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. As you guys saw, I just showed you guys the luggage. My bad if I look like extra tired. I'm like super, super tired. But yeah, um, as you guys saw, I just showed you guys that luggage. I forgot to show you guys that. Um, but shout out to the homegirl for picking it up from barber school. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was trip to the thrift, numero 57. And I know I only posted one video this week. Um, Y'all have no idea. It really is hard for me to um, to put together enough content for you guys to watch, to have a full video because like, I just don't want to put out short videos for you guys. Um, I try to make them as long as possible because I'd rather put out better content than um, more quantity of like videos. So, with that being said, um, I hope you guys are still riding with me, still enjoying the content. Um, I'm really going to try my best to put out 
two videos a week. I'm probably gonna film another video today, um, but yeah, I'm not sure what it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be like a challenge or something. Um, but in the last video, you guys saw that I got a lot of hate for that, um, uh, for the outfit challenge, for the $100 Ross challenge. But to be honest, it didn't bother me at all. Um, I feel like when you do get a lot of hate like that, it's kind of like you're for sure doing something different. Um, and I really don't care about hate when people say, dude, you look ridiculous, you look funny, like what, are, what in the world are you wearing? Um, but yeah, I think it looks cool. Um, I stick with my style and if people don't like it, then people don't like it. Um, but that's what I'm trying to tell people or like to inspire um, people to be yourself. Don't care what other people say. I probably got like, I don't know, 10 to 20 like hate comments on that video. And on Instagram, it was different. I got hella love on that, um, on the picture that I posted. But yeah, some people are going to love you. Some people are going to hate you. But you just got to keep going. Just be yourself. Don't. Don't, don't, don't care what anybody else thinks. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this was Chip to the Thrift, numero 57. And you already know the slogan. So let's wrap it up to the coziest in the game. <laughs> hey, man, to fashion was good.